my name is Stephen Roach. I'm farming here in Grinna in County Cork, uh, on the main road between Cork and Mallow, hence the name of the herd, the Mallow Road Herd. Uh, I'm married to Marion and we have four in family, uh, Clara, Sinead, Maeve and Abby. Um, my dad, Paddy Roach, and uh, my mum, Katty Roach, they started farming here in, and milking cows in 1959 after dad had bought the farm in 1957. And they started with seven cows and built up the herd from there over the years, uh, gradually building numbers, uh, buying some pedigree heifers then after a while, uh, different herds around Cork and uh, at the sales that used to happen in the showgrounds in Cork at the time. Uh, some of the first pedigree British Frisian cattle at the time that came here were from uh, Ballygroman and Ovens, uh, Lake Lodge in Glantmire, Ardrostic and uh, all herds in this locality and they were happy with the performance of these cattle and that's why eventually we graded up all the herds and went to the pedigree. farm 185 acres here and it's all in the one block even though it is long and narrow so the farm roadway is quite long it's up to 1.45 kilometers to the furthest away uh, paddock and um, the farm enterprise here is producing milk winter and spring producing it for the dairy gold winter milk scheme so we have 30 percent of the cows uh, from the end of October until the start of December and the 70% are spring calving. Uh, that gives a total output of 8,460 uh, litres per cow at 4.10 fat and 3.46 protein, um, giving a total solids output per cow of 642 kilos in a 305 day lactation. At the moment on the farm we're milking 170 cows and we also keep all the female uh, replacements, that would be 75 in calf heifers and 75 calves per year. We try to get the cows out to grass as early as possible in spring. Some of the farm is quite wet so it might be the start of March before we get them out and we're grazing until the beginning of November if we can. The winter feed diet would be grass silage, maize silage, sugar beet and then uh, we also mix in, in the diet feeder, soybean and an energy mix and the energy mix would usually be one third maize, one third pulp nuts and one third distiller's grains. Added into that then would be minerals, vitamins and yeast. Um, the total uh, TMR diet during the winter, the total protein in that would be around 15%. We find it's adequate and there is no need to go any higher. Uh, after turn out to grass in the spring, we buffer feed with maize until the maize runs out. We try to have enough maize until into June, giving them 10 kgs fresh weight of maize per day. Uh, this year the maize ran out just in the last days of June and it just helps to sustain the cows when they're in peak milk production. The concentrates that we feed are purchased from Dairy Gold Co-op and um, we feed around 2.2 tonne per cow per year. Uh, I'd be watching what the cows require so that they wouldn't be underfed at any stage and I think the best research that's being done in Ireland at the moment is probably above a new CD for the type of system that I'm running here for um, a high input, high output system. So I'd be interested in what Dr Mulligan would be saying up there. All the herd here are registered uh, pedigree. Um, we have been milk recording here since 1979 and we started type classification in 1984 and we've been doing it uh, constantly since. So um, the milk recording is essential and the type classification also gives you a fair grasp of where you are with the different traits, others, legs and feet and the type of cow that you're breeding and it keeps, uh, it can give you a comparison between yourselves and other herds as well. So um, I think they're all essential tools really to breeding a better and more efficient herd of cows. The bulls that we use, I try to use Holstein Frisian bulls that would be plus at least 300 kgs of milk, plus on percentage fat and plus on percentage protein and they want to be plus on others and legs and feet. For the heifers we calved down this year, uh, the bulls that impressed me were Punch, Hagley and Mardi Gras. 
Um, some of the bulls that worked very well here in the past would have been Coach and Twist, uh, Stonewall, and before that, going back a few years before that, Oman and Ramos and Creighton Hill Eden as well. And um, so they would be the backbone of the herd at the moment. And then for the bulls that we're using at the moment on both cows and heifers, um, we're using Pepper, Casper, Punch on cows only, Mardi Gras and Hail. Um, we also use a bit of Clantrohid Black Lightning, who I think is quite a good bull. I suppose when you're breeding cows, cow families are very important. And some cows, cow families come to the fore and uh, no matter what, seemingly no matter what bull you give them, they always seem to produce good progeny. One of those families here in Mellor Road is the Sharon family. It comes from a graded up family that we have. First of all, we look at Sharon, 18, she's VG88, and in her third lactation, she is giving 9,008 kilos of milk at 4.25 and 3.52, giving total solids of 717 kilos. Her mother was a VG87 Morning View legend, and her grandmother was by Root. Um, she has two milking daughters in the herd, and one of those milking daughters is Sharon27. Uh, this is her first lactation. She's by Roy Lane, Boxer Punch, and she's predicted to do 7,286 kilos at 5.18 fat and 3.37 protein. A very smart heifer and looking forward to her maturing in the herd. Another family that's very prominent in the herd is the Big Texas family. I originally got them from Tom Kelly and Mona Moore, buying a calf there, and now we have many members in the herd. This one is Malroad 7 Big Texas, VG88. Uh, she is by AXN. And her third lactation is 10,374 kilograms of milk, 4.3 and 3.23, giving total solids of 804 kilos. Also from the Betexas family is Malro Betexas 5, the first calf heifer, and her 305 predicted yield for this year uh, is 7,448 litres of milk at 4.83 fat and 3.63 protein. That'll give her a total solids of 630 kilograms solids. And she is by Clondrohid Black Lightning. Um, on the technology side, we've got a heat detection system. It's operated by a collar and a component around the cone's neck, which um, measures her activity and then sends me a message to my mobile phone when the cow's in heat. I think it is a very good aid to uh, a stockman because you will pick up a certain amount of cows in heat but the heat detection system will pick those up and it will also pick up the odd cow that you would have missed and it's great to get a note on your phone saying that this cow is in heat. Uh, I've been a member of the Cork Pulse and Frisian Club since 1982 after being invited to join by Joe Marley and uh, initially I was going to field evenings during the summer, taking part in stock judging and as you got to know more people I got more involved in the club and it was around the time that the YME was starting up as well which was a very exciting time to be involved. Uh, then I was involved in the National Dairy Show Committee for eight years over two different stints and um, so as the years went on it was nice to be involved in the club to a greater and lesser extent at times whenever time was available. Uh, and now it is very gratifying to see my own family getting involved in the YMA and getting involved in their uh, uh, activities and really enjoying them. So uh, it is nice to see something that you would be involved in starting up to have lasted a generation and now to be going as strong or stronger.